making another Hello Kitty mini verse. We have this piece which snaps into here to make a display case. We of course have this really cute table that also snaps into there. And we have some milk. We have tongs and a spoon of two spoons with Hello Kitty's face on the top of them. So that's really cute. This one I've been waiting to do. We have coffee stencils. Uh, yeah, there's two different ones. So one's a bow, one's Hello Kitty's face. Then we have this leaked a little bit. Some cappuccino dusting. Oh, well, that's cute. Cocoa powder. I'm a little nervous for this one to make that stencil on top. Hopefully it's not difficult. Ugh, these are so cute. Are they the same? Yes, they are. So one side says hello kitty and then the other side has her face. They're see-through so that it could cure and you could see the coffee. Now this one I know we're mixing. So it's going to be white then we add the powder to it. I might, I don't know if I'm going to pour that separately or do it directly in there. I haven't decided yet. Oh my gosh, this is adorable. We have matching plates. Those are so cute. This would be worth it to get duplicates just so you had more of these because they're so cute. Okay, let's get started. I think these are going to be some of my favorites from the sets. I'm not going to put my spoon in it though. I think that'll get in the way of the design. But you can do that if you want to. The instructions say to add the resin almost to the top. We're going to add some of the cappuccino powder to darken it, stir it really good, uh, cure it. Then we're going to add a little bit of the white resin and then stencil it and then cure it again. So pretty easy. I'm just going to do one at a time. I think I will mix it in here, even though I typically like pouring it into something first, but I think the shape of this will be okay. It'll be easier to mix. Add a little bit more Some air bubbles in there. I'm going to start mixing it and then I can always add a little bit more if I need to. I secretly hate using the powder because it's so messy and then it sticks to this um, mat I have under here. Sometimes it's difficult to clean up. Okay, let's see if that was enough color. It looked very brown. Okay, I just I just scared myself for a minute. I was like, is this the right color that I added? But yes, because the other one has the shaker on it, so that's for the top part. In the picture, to me, it looked like brown brown, the top of it, or the when you look at it through the side, it looked like coffee that dark. And it's not at all. It's a nice kind of caramel color. Let me look at it through the side. It's hard to show you from the side, but it still looks very white. So I'm going to add more pigment and stir it very well. Let me double check. Yeah, it looks really dark on the, on the list. So I will be back once I get the color that I'm looking for. I think I got a decent color on the other one. Uh, I was noticing it wasn't really getting any darker. I added like, I don't even know how to measure it. Three different times I added pigment to it. So I'm going to try to color match it now. They do give you a ton of this stuff, which is nice. You can reuse it for other things. And I was able to mix it so that you can't really see the white on the sides. 
It only takes a few minutes to kind of incorporate everything. This is going to need a lot more of the pigment. Kind of reminds me of the color that came with the ramen, but it's not glittery, but it still looks goldish until you start mixing it. Then it will kind of look like a light brown caramel cappuccino color. Alright, I think that's like exact. I'm going to go ahead and set these outside to cure and I will be back to show you what they look like. Okay, I think I'm going to do one at a time. I'm a little concerned it'll like move, the design will move. If I just let it set there, maybe not, I don't know. I also don't know how much to put in. I did try to leave enough room so we can have a decent layer of the white resin. Doesn't feel like they gave us too much. I believe that's all I could fit in there. So we're gonna take these stencils that look like guitar picks in my opinion. Let's see. Front of the cup is here. I'm gonna have it lined up. It probably doesn't matter. I am so nervous. I think that's good placement. We're about to find out. It's like, how much do I add? I have questions. Yep, that was too much. <laughs> I'm gonna go cure that. So I'm sure less is more, but it does come out kind of quickly. Let's put over there and I think I might have bumped it as I was pouring it on that last one so let's try just real lightly I can't tell oh that's super cute I'm gonna run that outside okay so these turned out really cute I did notice I thought I stirred it really well but there was some settling of the pigments and I stirred these to death. So there's a little bit more in here than there is in there. So I don't know if that bothers you, but just a word of caution, but it did mix pretty well throughout. And then less is more with the powder. It came out pretty fast on this one. Plus I'm not doing it how I normally would because there's a camera in between my face. <laughs> so that didn't help. But this one I did really lightly and I think it turned out great. This is a very cute one, easy to do. And then of course you can put it on the cups and then add the spoon if you want. And I did make a mold. So I tried doing like half of the coffee color and then the rest white and then I did a stencil on top. I'm not sure what this is gonna look like. So I did try mixing it again. You can see a little bit of the settling. I tried to do half and half, but it didn't really turn out like that. I put white to fill up the rest and then I did do a stencil over it. My daughter likes these. It's just the mold that is left over from the bento box. So yeah, I think these are great. One of my favorites from the set. I think I would give this a nine and a half out of 10. I love the plates and the cups that came with it. So leave me a comment and let me know what you think. And if you did anything different with yours, I'd love to hear about it. Thanks so much for watching. Bye guys.